We are talking about hydration today. We're supposed to drink eight glasses of water per day, but you don't necessarily have to drink all of that in water. And I'm so glad because there's a lot of people who don't necessarily are, they're not necessarily fans of water and constantly right. having to drink it. So thank yes. you for joining us today. Yeah, Registered sure. dietitian here, Suzanne Friel. You're going to talk to us about foods that can also help us with hydration. Yes, 20% of our fluid needs can come from food. And so especially this time of year when it's super hot, we want to make an effort at getting some mm -hmm. of the foods that are the highest in water content. And that's exactly what I bought, brought for you today. Okay. And all of this beautiful produce, um, the fruits and veggies, are from Sprouts Farmer's Market, Love which has a huge variety yeah. of organic and regular fruits and vegetables at a lower cost, typically up to 25% lower. Um, so for starters, we'll start with some of the highest ones and so watermelon is one of the highest fruits in water content and so I brought these really fun kind of watermelon popsicles that you could make with your kids and it's just a really fun way of eating watermelon and then also strawberries many people don't realize that strawberries are like the no second idea. highest in its water content so including that and then the third highest is grapefruit and then cantaloupe and then really getting that variety um, mm -hmm. is key but the food that is the absolute highest in water content is the cucumber so no really idea making an effort at getting that. I made this spiralized cucumber salad. I used the Sprouts Organic Balsamic Dressing. And if you want, you can use it in this. That's very easy to do. I'm actually yes. going to work on this while yeah. you're talking, just to show people <laughs> yeah. how easy it is. And just a really cool option yes. to hydrate. Well, and also, you can spiralize your zucchini, mm -hmm. your cucumber, and actually use it on top of you know, your barbecue sandwich, you know, turkey sandwiches, burgers, and top it for that extra hydration. And then iceberg lettuce um, is one of the standouts in terms of its water content along with celery and radishes and tomatoes and peppers um, so really you know again incorporating these foods when you can right. um, radishes slicing really thin and putting on salads and this then this is all perfect we we're just talking about this yeah poolside snacks yeah perfect absolutely Especially and when you're sweating outdoors right yeah you can really grab and go with the celery and the cherry tomatoes and then beverages that sometimes people might ask about mm -hmm. can they count towards hydration is coffee and yes it can count towards your fluid needs so so can tea. You heard so that here, can, folks. That's right. So can <laughs> seltzer waters yeah. and milk and 100% fruit juice. It all counts towards your total hydration in a day. So, yeah. So you want to consider that when you're thinking about, oh, no, I have to drink eight cups of water a day. Well, yes. not necessarily. Not if you're incorporating these kinds of foods into your diet. That's right. You want to make an effort. I always say 50% of your plate as fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and then you should be getting that hydration. And really to note, hydration impacts uh, the transport of vitamins and minerals in the body, our energy mm -hmm. levels, muscles, joint, tissues, digestion. So it's really key to right. keep it top of mind. And during the summer, more important than ever, since yes. we are uh, probably sweating more than usual. Without a doubt, yes. And <laughs> um, so I, just if you had to like uh, throw a number out there, if I'm used to drinking eight glasses of water, yeah. but instead, you know, I have have two servings of my watermelon and yeah. I have some of my salad yeah. reduced by maybe one or two cups. Well, actually, the Institute of Medicine recommends yeah. that women get total fluids 11 cups a day and women 15 cups a day. Okay. Subtract food from that. And for women, it's about nine cups a day plus food. And for men, it's about 12 and a half cups a day plus the fruits and vegetables. Perfect. Well, thank you so much yes. for joining us today. Right. Now back to you, Tom. All right. Coming up at eight o'clock, Britain.